Hey, this is Wolf from Armoury Terrain, and today I'm going to show you how to make a quick shield for laugh. This is a nice light shield made out of cork flute, EVA floor mat, and a piece of PVC pipe. And let's get building. Right, the first thing when making a shield is to have the template that you want. I cut it out of cardboard. As you can see, these used to be pizza boxes. So, my template is 55 centimeters across with a 15 centimeter hole in the center for the hand grip. Why 55 centimeters, you ask? Well, in the game system I'm making this shield for, the maximum size is 60. So when we add an inch of padding either side around the rim, so when you hit people with the rim, it doesn't hurt them, it becomes maximum size. So once you have the template drawn up, you need to cut three pieces of the core flute along the same lines as the template and when you put them together and glue them into a solid mass make sure that the lines with the corrugations in them are running opposite ways as they go down in fact being that there's three sheets like this the first two go in a cross and the third one goes diagonally across them this will give you the most strength as you put them down also, out of one piece of EVA format with the jigsaw puzzle sides, draw your shield blank using the template. And you can see on here, I've already drawn in what I'm going to hit with the engraving tool or the hot iron, not sure yet which I use, probably the soldering iron. And I'll burn all of these in to give it a wood grain effect. Finally, for the center boss, because this is a grip shield, you need a disc of foam like this. Anyone that's been watching my videos for a while knows I make mushrooms a lot. So using a stainless steel mixing bowl, which is round, I'm going, this is the diameter of the bowl by the way, I'm going to heat this up and press it into the bowl, and then I'll have a foam boss to go over the center of the hand grip. I'm going to glue these together and run some gaff tape around the inside and the outside just to make them solid and then I'll come back and show you how to do both the boss and the handle for it. Right, I've now glued the three layers of core flute together. I've put gaff tape around the inside and around the outside of the shield. So you can see like like this and then I've glued some felt to what's going to be the back of the shield and cut the circle out of the center. Why are we gluing felt to it? Well this makes it much nicer against your arm while you're using the shield and it disguises the fact that we're using core flute instead of wood. So now what we need to do is put a handle on this shield and for the handle we're going to use a bit of PVC pipe. Now, just get pipe that's comfortable to hang on to. And then what you're going to do is work out how much pipe you need. Now you want it to be at least a centimeter in from the edge of your shield, just so there's nothing sticking out of your shield. And then I'm marking where the hand grip itself is because that's the part we're going to keep round and with the heat gun we're going to heat up the PVC pipe and flatten these other two pieces so we can bolt them through the shield and give it a whole lot more strength. Okay, what we have here is the PVC pipe being heated over the heat gun. Now we're just going to go backwards and forwards to the first mark which we marked for the hand grip until it goes nice and floppy. Now remember, if your PVC pipe starts turning brown, you're releasing chlorine gas, which is poisonous. So don't burn the pipe. And if you do, ventilate the room and leave it well. Okay, that's looking nice and soft. What we're now going to do is put it between the two slabs of marble I have here and just press down. Now it won't go completely flat on this first pass, but it will at least give an idea. Uh, 
Okay, a little bit more heat. And what I might get my other assistant to do is to grab the white dish over there on the floor and put it on the table so we can pour some water over the hot plastic to shock it into its new form. Uh, because it's a wide dish, we're better uh, off. We got a brown spot. Yep, let's not burn too much more of that. All we're going to do is keep heating it up, heating it up, and then putting it between the two slabs and squeezing. Yep, that should be nice and warm. Now you don't need slabs of marble for this, this just happens to be offcuts from some sinks that I acquired once upon a time. You could use any heat absorbent material like tiles or even blocks of timber. And as you can see it's starting to become much much flatter and we'll do this on both ends and then paint it, drill some holes in it and bolt it onto the shield. So back again with the hand grip all done. As you can see I flattened the hand grip either side and bolted it to the shield. This gives the shield an awful lot more rigidity. I've also glued a layer of felt to the back so it's nice and smooth. Now that I've gone to this stage, what I need to do is take this bracket off again and paint it brown and glue some leather around the center for the hand grip. But the important thing is I've got the bolts in. Now that I've got the bolts in, it means that I can glue the front to the shield. I think I've done okay with this shield front so far. You can see all the wood texture burnt into it. The center boss has been attached and a ring of craft foam with googly eyes for rivets, which will look really cool when painted. So, when this adds to this, we have a shield. All that's needed then is to cut the foam to go around the edge which is 25 mils thick and we glue that right around until it's you know this far up and then we have a usable shield for lock. So as you can see these shields do stand up to a little bit of impact damage. So it's all finished now. It's been painted with latex on the front and on the rim on the back the hand grip has been painted and attached with a leather handle to make it more comfortable and where the bolts go through the core flute to hold it all together we've just put a couple of pieces of foam just to make sure that we can never cut ourselves on any sort of sharp bolt or worse still have the shield like this and have somebody hit it and have the bolt go into the person so this shield is very much LARP safe it's nice and light it weighs less than a kilogram, which for a shield like this is not bad. And it's got 30 mils of padding all the way around the rim. So nice and soft there. It's got EVA foam on the front. And as you can see, the woodwork burnt in quite nicely. So I'm very happy with this shield. So this is Wolf from Armoury Train, showing you how to build a nice, cheap, quick, light LARP shield in all this took two days building but that's only because I had to wait for drying time and I'm not working at night at the moment because it's still cold out here so yes, this is Wolf saying go out and make something <laughs>